Hello everyone, it's Jamal Thomas. Welcome to the Progressive Soapbox. I saw something, this looks absolutely ridiculous to me and I, I'm amazed by how this is breaking down. So, there's been this meme going around. It's actually pretty goddamn funny. With when Donald Trump was dealing in the wrestling thing and Donald Trump jumps out the ring and just beats the hell out of somebody. Now, I think this was Vince McMahon, the person who Donald Trump was beating in the video, but in the particular video, somebody took that video and put CNN's logo on the guy's head. So when Trump is beating up the guy, it's like Trump is beating up CNN. Now, personally, I think this is absolutely hilarious. CNN spins this narrative of this guy's trying to incite violence against the media. No, they're making fun of you because you guys put out fake news that's why it had nothing to do with violence against the media donald trump is beating up some guy in wrestling if you're going to say that it's promoting violence then wrestling is promoting balance and we should do something about wrestling also no you just didn't like it because you guys were embarrassed and you wanted to try to change the narrative and you picked on somebody who's smaller than you so cnn goes after the guy meaning cnn tracks the guys down they use this, they're crafty investigators, they're investigative researchers, to find out who was responsible for the wrestling gift. CNN couldn't find out who essentially did the weapons, who released the sarin. CNN, and what I'm making this point is, Seymour Hersh found out that the original release of sarin wasn't necessarily from the Syrian government, that it was from the rebels. With all of CNN's vast resources, they couldn't figure that out. What's her name? Tulsi Gabbard comes back from a trip with Dennis Kucinich to Syria. And she said, the United States is undermining the Syrian government. We shouldn't be undermining the Syrian government. CNN is shocked by this. And they clamored. Oh, oh the U.S. government says that's not happening. They say you're not telling the truth. I'm making this point that with all the vast resources of CNN, oftentimes CNN is, is clueless and is oblivious as Chuck Todd. I make the case that they're oblivious for reasons, for good reasons, because they don't want to necessarily say something that's going to adversely affect the interests of the people who pay for those stations. The people who own those stations have other corporate interests, and they're not going to let their television interests screw over their other interests. They're putting out a narrative. They call that narrative news. Now, the reason I'm amazed by this is because it exposes somebody made a gif of Donald Trump, the president, beating the stuff out of you. You have accused Donald Trump of everything but being a child of God, particularly with this Russia narrative stuff. And yes, you guys have been attacking him pretty hard. Donald Trump has been attacking back, calling you guys fake news. You get caught putting out fake news. And Donald Trump goes on the attack on Twitter, bashing you relentlessly. Donald Trump sees this, and he posts this out. And you are embarrassed. The president is beating up on CNN. The most trusted name in news. Even though they were putting out fake news. Now... The idea that this gets spun into the guy trying to advocate for violence against the press is absurd. You're ridiculous. And the guy shouldn't have back one iota on that point. One iota. Issuing a long apology. That guy shouldn't have issued a goddamn thing. He put out a, get, a meme that was funny as hell. And to some degree was representative of what was taking place in regards to politics. And media part of what he was also apologizing for apparently was some of the stuff was racist okay is it illegal to have racist stuff on reddit I don't think so do people put crazy shit on reddit all the time yes was this particular meme offensive hell no if this meme is offensive, then what takes place in regards to politics and media is also offensive. It's also offensive. 
I'm also bothered by this idea of the president can murder like 90% civilians in their military campaigns abroad. The media won't call it war. The media won't even call the president on it for the most part. It's invisible with regards to the American population for the people who watch mainstream news. That is okay. That's okay. You have people being deported by ICE. They hit one guy. Or I think it's a woman. Checked whether or not she was an illegal alien or illegal citizen. And found out she was and carted her on instead of taking her to the hospital. I'm, I'm just making this point that all of the vagaries and the bad shit that goes on every day in this particular country. The media is clueless and absolutely oblivious. And maintains the narratives that they themselves want to maintain. Or the people who are paying them want to maintain. But this Reddit user. He was a bee in their bonnet. And they use the resources that are usually stale. They usually don't work. That are usually underused in regards to actually finding out real investigative information on the things that people need to know. To pursue their lives. They use those underused people. To find the identity of the guy who released the meme. This is CNN. I went to the source on this. The Reddit user who initially claimed credit for President Donald Trump's tweet that showed Trump tackling CNN issued an apology Tuesday for the video and other offensive content he posted one day after CNN identified the man behind the account and attempted to make contact with him. Why are you attempting to make contact with him? Why? Why? Why are you attempting to make contact with him? Did this meme embarrass you? Did the fake news not embarrass you? Why are you so embarrassed by this meme? Why are you so embarrassed by this meme? They're calling this blackmail. I don't know if it's blackmail or just intimidation. CNN gets their feelings hurt because they put out a meme with the president beating the stuffing out of CNN. In the statement and other offensive content, that's not offensive. That's just funny. That's not offensive. You think it's offensive because it's about you and because your news network sucks. Your news network sucks. And the public who watches your news network is given his expression of what he thinks is going on in regards to media and news. I mean, media and politics. In this particular case, several of your people had to resign. President Trump has been joking and laughing at you. This guy puts up a meme showing a representation of what's taking place in regards to the way the president is interacting with CNN or media. The president tackles CNN and beats the stuffing out of CNN. Reddit user Hans Han Asholo <laughs> first shared the gift Wednesday. Of Trump pummeling a wrestler with CNN's logo posted on his face. CNN can find no earlier instance of the GIF. The GIF was later edited into a video with sound and tweeted by President on Sunday. On Reddit, Hans Asshole took credit for inspiring the tweet. Soon after Hans Asshole's other posts on Reddit, some of which included racist, anti-Semitic imagery, quickly circulated on social media. Now the user is apologizing, writing a lengthy post on Reddit that he does not advocate violence against the press and expressing remorse there and in an interview with CNN for other posts he made that were racist and anti-Semitic. Dude, you should have told CNN to go fuck itself. You should have told CNN to go fuck itself. Why on earth is CNN spending a moment of his time going through and finding this guy? And are you telling me that of all the things that took place yesterday, the day before yesterday, that may take place tomorrow, that may take place next week, are you telling me that all of your other responsibilities of importance were done and finished? And that this, this, this meme about Donald Trump, the president of the United States, this reality show who's beating the stuffing out of us. That takes importance. That's important. That matters. That's more important than this other shit that's going on in the world. 
We need to figure out. We need to get to the bottom of this shit. And then to pull the guy up and browbeat the guy and expose his body up and say, hey, we're not going to say who this guy is because this guy issued a lengthy apology to us showing Donald Trump beating the stuffing out of us and other offensive content this asshole has been putting out. Your response to CNN should have been, you guys can go fuck yourself and know I'm not having an interview with you. You can say whatever the hell you want. I don't know anything about this guy. I'm making this point that he had this content on Reddit for a while. Did CNN release this particular content? Did somebody else release the content? I have no idea in regards to the other racist content that he was putting out. I'm making this point of whether or not CNN resources are best used at finding who created a quick meme. That's what I'm asking. And of all the bad shit that takes place in the world, of all the people who are going hungry, of all the people who don't necessarily have homes or living in insecure locations, of all the things that are about to befall us, whether ecological, economic, is this the thing to which you feel you need to invest your time and your resources into doing? And I'm asking the question rhetorically because clearly the answer that CNN is giving back is a resounding yes. This is sad and absolutely pathetic. You're a multi-million dollar network. You're supposed to be the most trusted name in news. And you're using your tired and unused investigative journalists to track down who's the guy who created the meme. And then call the guy to harass him. And scare the guy so much that the guy comes out like a wind-up doll. Write some lengthy apology. I would be a bad person in that position because I would tell CNN to go fuck itself. And I would write a very lengthy article telling CNN to go fuck itself and the myriad of ways in which it can go fuck itself. That's what I would do. I understand that he has certain content on there that he didn't, you may feel some kind of way about in the sense of, look, I don't know what goes through people's heads. When they put up a racist meme. And I'm going to end it at this. Because this is going long. I don't know if they themselves mean it. I don't know if they themselves get some kind of weird. Funny feeling from it. When they're issuing it. I mean I know there's sometimes that I would say something to my wife. I would think it's absolutely hilarious. And she would think it's not funny at all. My sense of humor is a little bit better than hers. So it probably was funny. But. Is it possible that somebody will put out a racist meme that they themselves have no feelings about at all? They're just putting it out because they think it's absolutely hilarious to see people react to that particular meme. I don't know. Maybe. I guess anything is possible. Um, yeah, I guess anything is possible. What I would say, though, is if Reddit, if it wasn't illegal to Reddit, now, he may feel some kind of way about it now. He may be embarrassed by it. He, if it's something that he meant, he still may be embarrassed by it because he may not necessarily want public to look at him in a particular way. Either way, to me, this boils down to free speech. And this meme went up. CNN got his feelings hurt. CNN was embarrassed by the meme because the meme was absolutely fucking hilarious. And the last thing you should let CNN do is spin it in a way that's saying you're promoting violence against the media. Because you are not. You are not. And I don't care who's trying to have a conversation with you about it. I don't care what they're trying to convince you of it. They're trying to convince you of something to try to make them look a particular way. You should have told CNN to go fuck themselves. That's my verdict on this. CNN is embarrassing. It is absolutely embarrassing. You're going to call somebody to figure out who was the person who did it. Are you telling me that your investigative journalist of all the stories, of all the things that you're sitting in your average tavern, you're looking at, of all the stories that you're not going to tell all that well, that you're not going to give context on, this is the one that you needed your time on. This is the one that you deemed immensely important. It says everything about CNN. It says everything about CNN. This is ridiculous and absurd. And just recently, I just did a video, Chuck Todd, talking about we're covering Trump's tweets while the healthcare thing 
is crashing one week after the next. And I'm making this point that who is making the determination to cover Trump's tweets? And is it the same person who's making the determination to track down some guy who's created a meme that's funny as all hell with Donald Trump being the stuffing out of CNN? Those things are related, Chuck. Those things are related. You guys are choosing what you want to cover. You're choosing where you want to put your lens and bear on the world. You're choosing the narratives to which you want to create. In the same way you're creating the strained and ridiculous narrative that this guy is putting out some kind of footage for violence against, terror, for, against journalists. They're choosing to use their resources to go after the guy, to figure out who it was. But, I, but certainly, CNN is probably right. There's probably nothing else that requires his resources. There's probably nothing else in the world that is important enough to get their glance or get their, their investment of time and energy. Asshole Solo. That guy. That guy needed to get got. It's embarrassing. This is absolutely embarrassing. CNN should be ashamed of his goddamn self. And yes, you're a pathetic news agency, but I didn't think you were going to be that pathetic when you would go after somebody who made a joke about one of your fuck-ups. So, I'll leave it at that. Alright guys, if you enjoy the content, feel free to share, like, subscribe. You can always support the work through Patreon. Thank you.